Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Where we left off, we had just finished our first case. And we are heading into episode two. Let's do it. So it's five episodes in total. And we are on two currently. Episode two. Yes. The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band. In a corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Sholmes sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which you referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, oh, that's the suicide. The, su the, su the, the cabin lady. door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. This is her lock, right? Or this would appear to be a clearly sure mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. <gasps> so the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. What? <gasps> don't be absurd. This is murder. I need cabin locked from inside. Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume... You must have heard of me. Ugh, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air.
Wait, I... I can't move. Why am I in... What? What the? Why am I in handcuffs? Hm. So you wake up now, hmm? Mm -hmm. We had to drag you out of the wardrobe. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You are too cold-blooded, man. You... Uh, you found me then. Da, we found you, and now you pay. Criminal. How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe? Uh, sorry. Now you have been found. It is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is. <laughs> no, I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Isn't that... Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? M Miss Susato? Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Um... Where is he? Where's Kazuma? Ha! You pretend you do not know. You are a wolf in the sheep's pelt. They did kill Kazuma! You are the killer! Do not try to make excuses! What? Kazuma-sama was... Kazuma-sama's body was discovered not long ago. What?! Here, in this very cabin that was bolted shut from the inside. His... His body? Mm, please. Do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. <laughs> Kazuma's dead? But he can't be. And these handcuffs. Surely you don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Kazuma Sama's life? Answer me, please. No. No! It's deja vu again, but now it's my friend. Kazuma. It was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come to England with me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was going to die. Yes, I still can't quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. You must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. But if you can find yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. But I want to know is, why do we keep... Why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant, Mikotoba, you mean? From your close friend, more to the point. Surely we, couldn't, we could confide in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this. Hmm, I suppose. Anyway. It's about that time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you'd better get in there. I, I think it won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yeah, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. I tell you what, why don't you let keep out or something on this piece of paper? What? Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors, once you're inside. I don't know. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? 
we're supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. We we'll leave you at next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer. No, I'm not a murderer. Da, you said before, you said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away on the ship, but... Murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. This is clearly a vent right there. There's other people who could have done it. It's suicidal, son. Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there's something I would like to ask of you, too. Those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. He... he really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. And these handcuffs... they think I did it? They think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via a porthole window, and the bolt on the door can't be operated from outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. It's a little case of, uh, Schrodinger's cat, right? Only one entrance to leave. Everything's locked up. There's no way it could get out. What? Or to put it another way, the culprit can only have been somebody inside this cabin. Or do you have some other explanation? How did he die then? What happened? Are you still going to deny the charge? Even despite the circumstances? Please, Usado san you have to tell me. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died. The ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course, he has no post-mortem post analysis experience. I'm not supposed we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port. So presumably, that means there were no obvious external signs of injury then. That's true, yes. Can't anyone tell me what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably, that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. Whatever you say. You were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin, as I have every day so far on this voyage. But this morning, he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead when Susato-san arrived at his cabin door? I wonder. I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I st started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewmen forced the cabin door open, and when we managed to get inside... Damn. And he tried to write something in, in what looks to be like Russian or something? Or, like, a, a code? There was Kazuma-sama, collapsed on the floor. And the white tape there now shows exactly where he was found. I had no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but... That's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me, too. Trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know. So it's my turn to ask you a question. Yeah, alright. My head feels so heavy. It's still throbbing like anything. I can't believe he's dead. Why are you even on board this ship now, Horosan? 
You said something before about being a stowaway. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's cabin for so long? No, that would have been impossible, obviously. Yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England? It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you that, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Oh yeah, you did say that. But I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of culture development. The center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can they? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer, then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. Kazuma-sama is... He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yeah, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I've ever seen it before. Um, Susato-san. I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. My storing away on the ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma-sama, I expect he was trying to protect me, to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's exactly right, yeah. If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is... I don't really remember. Kazuma brought me some something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I fell asleep. Um, well, yeah. So deeply that you didn't even stir when Kazuma-sama was killed? Um, well, yes. I know, it sounds unbelievable. Really, I do. But it's the truth. If only I had woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. Shadow-san, you have to believe me. I didn't do it. I really don't want to doubt you, but the trouble is, there's no one else who could possibly have done this. <sighs> Kazuma, I don't understand. Why? Why did this have to happen? Uh, I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry, but Kazuma was killed right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around? My hands tied while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. 
I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life. And how and why they did it. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Hiya! Oh, God. What the? Uh, that was a Susaro takedown. A Susaro? What? What martial art form is that? I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry, prove it? Yes, your innocence. I need evidence. But, but how am I supposed to? Have you forgotten already what you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Uh, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Susaro-san to believe me. I'll show her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty. Kazuma would stick this over the door of the wardrobe for me. It says, keep out in ja Japanese, though I'm not sure the Russian crew can actually read it. Yes! Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the door? Oh, yes it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another crew member decided to look. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe door. But if I were truly the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the door on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Even if you are sprawled hopeless hopelessly on the floor. I can see why Kazuma-sama thought so highly of you. Thank you, Tsusaro-san. Now, do you perhaps think you could help me up? Well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here at least. Thank you. So you finally believe me? I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you used some sort of con conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. What does she think I am, a magician? For now, I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. Alright, let's get to work, Susato. Please, don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. Uh, I shall be watching you. To make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence. R right. Well, anyway. I should make a start on investigating in here. Examining. Examine everything I can. Kazuma, I swear. I will avenge your death. We got a couple things there. But I'm going to end this part off here, guys. Cosmo is dead. I am in shock. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I shouldn't be, though, because they d they do this with every, like, second trial. They <laughs> they kill off someone important, and I hate it. With someone that I, that I, that's, I like. But, but, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll figure out. We'll see who killed him. 